Yo, what is good guys, back here with another YouTube video, and in case you cannot tell by the title below, this video will be a video uh, sharing my thoughts and opinions on someone or something going on in this wacky weird world called professional wrestling, guys. You can tell by the title below, this video will be a video where I share my thoughts and opinions on if Drew McIntyre or Drew Galloway should really join AEW, and for myself personally, I did a video uh, around WrestleMania, like a couple of days after, kind of sharing my thoughts on if he should leave. And it came out within the last couple of days that there's a good chance that he will either not be resigning or will not, uh, or will leave WWE, depending on which way you would want to look at it, uh, kind of deal. And I did a video kind of talking about that. But I figured I seen that and I thought, oh, uh, what would it be like if he if he hypothetically left WWE and did eventually join AEW? Would love to know what your thoughts are on that down in the comments below. Uh, and uh, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notification. Of course, you don't have to if you don't want to, but it would mean a lot to myself if you did. And when it comes to him potentially joining AEW... I would like to see it. I don't want to see a, like a 10 year long contract uh, kind of deal, but him potentially being with AEW for like two, three years, I would love it. Or I would love to see it at least for a while because there's so many guys there that just, I don't know if this makes sense, but I don't want to say it's a dream match, but uh, like I would love to see him have matches uh, with and whatnot, and I don't know for sure off the top of my head who he uh, has and has not faced, whether it's in WWE or on the independent scene, but him and Buddy Matthews, Buddy Murphy, banger, him and Bandito, another one, personal, like, if I had to do a top five uh, people within AEW or ROH, him, Drew McIntyre, Drew Calloway, and Dalton Castle, easily uh, number one uh, for myself, Personally, I already mentioned uh, Bandito, uh, Buddy, Ma not Buddy, I mentioned Buddy Matthews earlier, but Brian Danielson uh, would be another one. Again, I think they might have faced off. I could be wrong about that uh, kind of deal uh, uh, and whatnot. But yeah, John Moxley, obviously, uh, Claudio Castanoli, Wheeler Yuta would be another one uh, kind of deal. Uh, and whatnot, and that's not including, like, guys down in, uh, ROH, uh, kind of deal. Or you can say Claudio's in ROH and whatnot, but, yeah, for myself personally, do I want to see him in AEW? Yes. Do I want to see him leave WWE? I don't know. There, I think I said it in the previous video, there's more to life than just wrestling, and who knows, he could, in, like, a month we sign with WWE, kind of deal, uh, and whatnot, but yeah, should he join, I don't know, uh, do I personally want him to join, yeah, kind of, there, there is a part of me that wants to see him in AEW, or at least do indie shows against some of those guys that I mentioned, uh, kind of deal and whatnot, but yeah, those are, uh, my thoughts and opinions, would love to know what yours are down in the comments below, while you are down there, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notification, of course you don't have to, if you don't want to, but it would mean a lot to myself if you did, more importantly, hope you guys are doing okay, mentally, emotionally, and physically. The world that we tend to make up is nothing but a fantasy until you wake up. I feel like I'm just lying to myself. Lying to myself, yeah. Cause I just crossed the line like I'm playing offside. I do it how I want and I'ma do it till I die. I feel like I'm just lying to myself. But it's